Welcome to Call of Cthulhu Roleplaying Times. My name is Tom and I'm joined by Lewis Brindley, Barry Marshall, Thomas Bates and Simon Lane. Greetings. Hello. 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 I, like the, I like the salute. It's, hello. Yeah, it's good. You went for our name a bit too quick for each of us to say hello. <laughs> yeah. So we all said hello Should at the we do end. it again? It's oh, not live. Who is this again. Lewis Brindley? <laughs> oh, no, oh, he's John fucking Steel. John oh, he's Steel. in. So we are playing Call of Cthulhu. It is a tabletop role-playing game mm -hmm. where we collectively tell a story and we use dice to help tell that story. Call of Cthulhu is set in the 1920s of America and no one pays attention to <laughs> anyone when they're talking in those days. <laughs> and we are using 7th edition. Call of Cthulhu is what we're playing, but we're not really playing it. I play pretty fast and loose with the rules, so like we're gonna we're gonna just cheat. in general, not even just during role play. Exactly, but just, just like, any rules, break them fast all. and loose. If we make mistakes, you know, please feel free to angrily tweet at just no one. I don't care. Not uh, tweet at not at all. <laughs> he loves um, it. <laughs> yeah, but um, we're, we're just going to goof around. We're just playing the story. We'll go around the table and introduce everyone. Mm. So, to my right. John Steele. John Steele. Wow. I was... I fought in a war, maybe. <laughs> war. <laughs> just, just a reminder, we're setting I lost my set. memory. I got hit in the head pretty bad. I lost my memory in the war. I lost a lot of things in that war. My sanity. My... Dignity. Dignity. <laughs> My trousers. Your virginity? <laughs> <laughs> My virginity. Okay. Hmm. John Steele. AKA uh, Nick Steele. Uh, AKA Nick, Nick Griswold. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of names. AKA John Griswold. <laughs> um, what do you so do? What's you, your... Yeah, what, what do you do now? Well, back in the military, of course, I... I had a not trouble adjusting to civilian life <laughs> Christ. when I came back from the I war. Know, we're already in. <laughs> what? <laughs> big, uh, mixed I'm deal, so amiibo, big. Um, and um, well, you know, took on the job as a private investigator. Mm. Uh, initially, I found it a bit troublesome just looking out for people's affairs, you know, tailing people, watching them eat KFC, you know, with like a date. Old timey KFC. Old timey. <laughs> yeah. Old timey. What did they used to have? I guess they used to have soup, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. 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 fried soup. Stew. Yeah. Uh, sure. Okay, so moving on uh, from John Steele, private investigator, to. Hey, Tony Cravello. Donnie Cravella. Hey, it's me. Everyone's favourite character. Oh, it's just Donnie. The Donnie's most memorable <laughs> one. Donnie, I'm just there. I'm, just, I'm you know, he's a he's a good friend of uh, John Steele, Nick Steele, Chris World, whatever the fuck his name is, um, and he's a legit businessman. A legit businessman. Wait, what did you just what did you just do with your finger? What, what, was, what was that? Just a little. It was just a little like a enunciation. That's you know. suspicious. Um, it's a 20s thing. We it's do a this sometimes. Thing. Yeah. Sometimes the funnies come out. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, it's no, a twenties <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's kind of, kind of. Donny's a bit of a fucking bruiser, a bit of a quick talker, but a bit of a bit of a bit of a psycho. Um, yeah. he's, he's been on a lot of adventures with with, with Nick, Nick Steele and um, and, and Simon's character, so you know. Just well. I didn't want to didn't want to dox you. Go Sorry. for it. Introduce yourself. Go next. I can't. No. No. no I, I'm the newbie. Order. I'm the newbie. You introduce yourself first, and then I'll. Yeah. I'll so Simon, who are you end. playing today? <laughs> I'm Professor Griswold! Perfect, nice. Professor Griswold. There we go, do you remember him? Do you remember that fella? Do you remember him? Yeah, he's back. My father. <laughs> My boy! <laughs> so My sweet boy! Father I forgot about the father and some role play. It's all coming back though. It's all coming back. The deep lore. <laughs> the rich, deep, deep lore. The rich, deep lore. Like, like KFC soup. <laughs> <laughs> rich mm. and deep. Oh god. I'm a geologist! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Remember that time I, I killed a man with a stone? <laughs> That's true, that. yeah. By accident! That was great. Because I crit a roll! <laughs> uh, yeah, that was fun. What more do you need to know, really? You're a professor and you've got a funny voice. <laughs> and I like rocks. <laughs> and you like rocks. Yeah, you are a professor of geology, so... Yeah. Um, Last of all, we are joined by a new member to the table. Hey, oh! Uh, so <laughs> all I just want to say is I hope you take this as seriously as everyone else takes it. <laughs> because the bar is set real high right now with um, 
how straight we run these games. Well, as I was saying, hey, oh, I'm Sonny. I'm a newspaper boy. <laughs> a, a rough and tough kid from the streets. I sell newspapers. <laughs> the streets of where? <laughs> Don't you work. <laughs> I'm 16 years old, but I got the face of an eight year old. I'm young. Oh, God. Uh, right? I got street smarts. I'm oh. tough. But usually if I'm gonna get into a situation, I'll talk my way out of it. You know, I got a fast talking nature. That's yeah. me. And yeah, sonny. least of all this, this old schmuck over here, Donnie, he's yeah. my brother. Yeah, this is my brother. I'm his little brother, Sonny. Yeah, he's my little bro. Yeah. Hey! Like, hey, you wanna mess with me? You get two of us like this time. fucking family. <laughs> family affair. Yep. <laughs> It's my little brother, Sonny. I brought him along for the adventure. Do you like him? I'm Look tough. Him. Hey, do the dance. I was saying before, do I was the like, dance, kid. Ah, cha, 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 hey, does the dance. I love it when he does the dance. <laughs> scrappy dude. I was literally about to say that. I realised after I made, I made Scrappy dude. <laughs> 1920s monster Scrappy. Everyone's favourite character, Scrappy. Oh dude. God. Uh, so Jesus, this... <laughs> Donnie. We're going to solve a mystery. Oh yeah, you do go. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, um, like I said, this is very serious role playing that Sorry, we're doing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, but I will warn: we deal with some, you know, there are some minor adult themes. There's some horror, some peril involved Shit. in these games, and so if that is something that might upset you, they will turn up. There's not. It's too late. There's not that. <laughs> you know, there's, there might be a little bit of death. There might be a few spooks. So you got to watch out. 1920s America. You are currently in Arkham, Massachusetts. Mm. Uh, it's a uh, sort of like smaller city outside of Boston. Is this more of a town? Is it coastal? Oh, actually. <gasps> oh. Here you go. Look at that. You've got a map. Ooh, hey, you didn't hell. even have to fucking roll fucking like it. You. <laughs> <laughs> you just handed it to him. Yeah. That's Howard. Look. Look at that creepy guy. Wow, yeah. that zoo is. That? It's that's a really good. That zoo. camera's better than my eyes. <laughs> is Jeez. that Queen Square? Can you see Queen Square? That, there? that is Queen Square. Square. Wait a fucking minute. Well, yeah, is that Queen Square? It does actually look a lot like Bristol. Like the red, uh, <laughs> there's the suspension bridge that over there. Oh my, oh my god. god! Why are we playing in Bristol? I could go because see Simon's house. Oh my god! It's right there. If anyone wants to go visit. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This place is the zoo is better than the food quality. <laughs> oh my god! It's the height of prohibition, so uh, you know, getting hold of booze is a bit more difficult. But Johnny, still very easy. You got easy. that case of bourbon I asked for? Hey, you know, I always fucking give, I always bring it for you, Donny. Come on, come on here, come on. I've got it in the back of the cart, come on. Hey, Sonny, oh. hey, we're about to board. What up is with this? The boy. You're what talking about the biscuits? Yeah, I got a whole stash of bourbons out back. Not the biscuit bar, but the, 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 the booze bourbon, Sonny. Oh. Sorry, Donnie. Oh, Have you got any cuts in the creek? So you guys are all having this conversation in the back of your car um, as you are driving along because currently you are driving to meet a sort of a lieutenant in the local mob um, that you've been summoned because you owe him a favor. Why? Oh. What is this favor that oh, you no. you owe him? Uh, and uh, fucking Nick shot his cat. He shot his fucking cat in the head. Nick shot his cat <laughs> in the head. <laughs> well, I saw he was having an affair with this guy's wife. <laughs> with this guy's cat. Okay. <laughs> this other guy's cat. Yeah. He's petting someone else's cat. Yeah. So you shot his cat in the head. Yes. Yeah. Cat 1920 slang for something. <laughs> 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 Gentlemen, the cat! Uh, so you are heading to meet um, this guy called O'Leary. He is part of the O'Banion mob that runs a good portion of the criminal underworld of Arkham. You're being brought in, maybe he knows the two of you because of your criminal underworld connections. Mm. And also, Nick Steele, you may have, or John Steele, or John Griswold. We're gonna have to, what, how do you want to be referred to? John Steele. John Steele. Okay. Uh, so John Steele, uh, you shot his cat apparently, holy shit, and he knows that you're a bit of a detective, so he's getting you in, and okay, right, you drew a perfect diagram of a cat being shot, very handy. Overhead. Thank you, thank you, Simon. Just in case we needed animations, Help. Simon is available <laughs> for storyboarding it as we go. Yeah. Um, that's fine. We'll let, just let We're it visiting the the O'Bannon mob. Well, O'Leary. The O'Leary. Mob, I remember seeing O'Leary. 
Yeah, so you're meeting O'Leary, who is a lieutenant in the in the mob there. You have brought your father along, mm-hmm. oh. old Professor Griswold, because you guys have seen things in the past. You have experienced stuff that is not of this world. Um, you have encountered <clears throat> other things, and going along, you just have a bad feeling about this this thing that you're going to be asked to do. And so you're kind of getting the gang back together because your fears of the, the same sort of, sort of things that you've you've had yeah. to deal with. Just you've just got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, we scratched we scratched the surface of something. You've seen behind the veil something underneath, and uh, you just got this like just this tickling tickling going on <clears throat> right now. Yeah, it's um, like an itch. Mm. In my trousers. Oh. Right, okay. Maybe that's hey, the syphilis. Hey, let me get that for you. The syphilis. <laughs> I scratched a scab. <laughs> oh. Underneath it was all pussy. Okay. Oh. Jesus Christ. The Are pus. we still talking about your trousers? No! Or, oh, or no! Or esoteric? Talking about the, uh, the deep ones. The deep ones. You know who I mean. Mm. Do you even know who, they, who the deep ones are? Uh, make me a Cthulhu Mythos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 14. What's your mythos? 12. Shit. You, like, so because these guys have played in previous adventures, they actually have weirdly high Cthulhu mythos, <laughs> but in turn, yeah. they have very low sanity. Because mine is zero. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you've not seen any of this. I've not, I know, I'm you an might have heard stories, boys. but. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you did, you did not pass. Uh, so, you are shown in to meet O'Leary, and uh, you're taken through into his office, and it's quite like a bare, bare bones office. Um, he's got a big table. Um, there is nothing on the table apart from an old, darkly stained claw hammer. And he is sat just looking at you as you're shown in. And stood off to one side is one of his companions who is really tall, but thin as a rake, just with his arms folded, just smoking a cigarette. And he is just giving you guys the evil eye. Uh, Both of them look very, very, uh, very, very scary. They don't look like they're here to, to be your friend. You're shown in, and uh, he is called O'Leary, so I'm guessing he's got an Irish accent. I'll do it. So, do it. crack it. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> um, yes, we apologize now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, accents, they're always a bit ropey um, when we do these role playing games. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> this is a racist <laughs> Uh so how, how do they speak? They speak a bit like this. Like that, yeah. A little bit like this. Oh, good evening, gentlemen. I should have gone a bit more gruff with this accent. <laughs> but fun. I've got my hammer. Um, so <laughs> it's nice to nice to see you. Uh, D- Donnie and Sonny. Hey. You know, hey, how's it going, Mr. O'Leary? It's a wonderful to the meet you Irish again. The old Irish dog. Yeah, it's good, good, uh, to, good to see today. you as well. And, and we uh, love to see you. Under such poor circumstances, oh, may uh, I say. Oh, my heartfelt condolences to you and the um, Mrs. Miggins, the, the, the whatever. Oh, you know, my, the, my cat. Yeah, my yeah, poor yeah, cat. Yeah. So, so Nick, and I understand hey. This this is your father here. I've drawn you a little memento. I find I find that very disrespectful, Mr. Mr. Hey, Griswold. Yeah. Uh, he's a he's a, he's a touchstone man, all right. Don't, don't take any offence. He to seems it. a bit a bit out of it. Yeah. Uh, My father is a valuable resource. <laughs> You'll find he'll make himself useful in many ways. And how how do you mean? Well. You know, these young boys, they got the energy, they got the, the vigor, the vim. I can dance! <laughs> hey, you got a great dance though, you gotta see the kid dance. He, he gets his hammer, he starts just like fondling the <laughs> hey, hammer. Hey, you don't like the dance, it's up the dance. Oh no, I do with my hammer though, sir, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> do so, you use that on rocks? Uh, not, uh, not so much, I don't use it on rocks. Um, but, y- you're here, you, you've, killed, you've killed my cat. And I feel very bad about that. Uh, and so, unless you want to end up like Mrs. Miggins, you're you're gonna have to do something for me. Hey, I mean uh, that's understandable, you know. Uh, the guy next to him is. Why, just, why like, did you bristling. shoot the cat again, no, do, no, John? Can we just remind. Not just so we have the legitimization. Oh, oh. Maybe don't bring it up. No, <laughs> <laughs> just want just so we know. Just so everybody's straight and narrow. Yeah. So, there's oh. no, there's no need to have it out. You know, any secrets? Because we're friends here with Mr. O'Leary. I'd like to know why that. Did you why shoot, did you shoot my cat? Why did you cat? shoot the cat? Why did you shoot the cat? Why did you shoot the cat? He likes the cat. Why did you shoot it, Mr. Steele? Why did you shoot my cat? Well, listen. 
<laughs> I thought it was one of those flying things. Sometimes I wake up in the night and I see them. Do you mean a bird? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were a professional private detective, but you can't tell the difference between a bird and a cat. When you've seen the, the, as many cats as I have, you start. Do you think, do you think they're all birds? <laughs> this doesn't make a lot of sense to me, Mr. Mr. Steel. It doesn't make sense at all. Look, Mr. O'Leary, I'm very sorry about your cat. I didn't, I didn't realize it was a cat when I shot it. You thought it was a bird. I thought it was something else. I also have birds. I wouldn't Don't have, shoot my birds. Listen, I if, wouldn't normally shoot birds either. If I may uh, interject, uh, my, my son was recently um, in an, an asylum for the... Uh, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yes, yes. He, uh, yeah, he was babbling about cats. <laughs> cats and so birds. So we, and, oh, we yeah. put him in there and... He's better now! <laughs> <laughs> Even O'Leary laughs. laughs. Fuck me. Okay, well, you say what? You could do a little favor for me, and perhaps uh, I can forget all, forget all about the big problems you've caused me. Uh, killing my cat. What do you say? I... I'll do it. Perfect. Well, have you heard of... I've got to read some exposition that you know. Excellent. So, so settle in. Ooh, I'm excited. Settle in for, you know, your mission. <coughs> Sit down, Dad. Wait, are you Irish as well? I use the accents to surround me. It helps me to fit in with my investigations. This that is, sounds grand. This is Lewis being the social chameleon. Mm. Oh, oh, right. Okay, oh. perfect. Um, yeah, excellent disguise work. Uh, so, have you heard of Sticky Jack? He's a small time thief, <laughs> a freelancer who keeps to himself. You see, me and Jack, we got an understanding of sorts. Uh, he don't pull nothing without my say so. And when he does... Sticky Jack doesn't pull anything. <laughs> Sticky Jack don't pull nothing without my say so. <laughs> and uh, when he does, he makes a prompt contribution. <laughs> To our benevolent fund, <laughs> winky face. <laughs> Jesus. What the fuck? Well, a little bird tells me that Jack got offered a <laughs> choice job. That some new player in town would reward our Jack handsomely if he could lift three things in one night. Greed. It's the downfall of lesser men. Uh, Jack got greedy and he forgot to apprise me of the situation. Uh, out he goes into the night and pulls these three lifts. One from the university library, one from the university museum, and one from the home of some professor. It wasn't you, was it, Griswold? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, know a, I've got a lot of shit in my house. I can't believe that. So that was over a week ago, and no one's heard hide nor hair of Jack since these jobs were pulled. Perhaps he's lying low. Perhaps he skipped town. I just don't know. Uh, all I know is that he owes me. No one pulls a job here without giving me my cut. Then I think to myself, I wonder who could do me a favor? Who could look into the situation for me? Now who would I know who suddenly owes me a favor? I apologize about the cat again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen up. So Sticky Jack, who hired him to steal these things? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I still have not quite finished my exposition. <laughs> Sorry. So if you want to get square with me, uh, and I strongly recommend that you do. Uh, he's still holding his hammer. You'll look into this for me. And I want to know what he stole and who the new player is that's hired him. And I want my money. I want answers. And if you can't get the money, at least get the things he stole. You've got until the end of the week. Now get out. Uh, can, we, can we ask any questions? <laughs> Oh, oh, again. Oh, <laughs> Trying to fit in with you. <laughs> you're doing a grand job there, but get out of my fucking office. Hey, your wife, well, thank you very much. You know, it's a lovely opportunity. Goodbye, everyone. Sorry about the cat. Thank you, Mr. O'Leary. Oh, Thanks, Mr. O'Leary, sir. Sorry about Miss Mickens. She's dead. Bye! <laughs> get the fuck out! Oh, jeez. And he waves his hammer at you. <laughs> We leave. So we're gone. We leave very quickly, yeah. very quickly. Sure. Let's leave, yeah. Cool, okay. Okay, bam, fuck. All right. <laughs> <laughs>